I'm doing the eighth one. If a raised to the power of x is equal to b, b raised to the power of y is equal to c, and c raised to the power of z is equal to a, we need to prove that x, y, z is equal to 1. Okay. Actually, I had sent a video of this. Some of you said you didn't understand, so I am doing it again. A raised to the power of x is equal to b. I am taking the first one. Now, here what I am doing is, I am multiplying the power by y. Multiply the powers y, y. So here a raised to the power of x, y is equal to b raised to the power of y. After doing this, here you see b raised to the power of y. b raised to the power of y is equal to c. So here again, I am taking a raised to the power of x is equal to c. Because b raised to the power of y is c. Okay. Now multiply multiply both sides both the sides power powers by z so a raised to the power of x y z is equal to c raised to the power of z but c raised to the power of z they have given it as a so, a raised to the power of x, y, z is equal to a. Now, a, simply I will not write a, instead I will write a to the power of 1. If there is no power, it is understood a raised to the power of 1. Now, since the bases are same, we can equate a, since the bases are same, x, y, z is equal to 1. Hence, proved. I hope you will understand now. A raised to the power of x is equal to b. B raised to the power of y is equal to c. And c raised to the power of z is equal to a. Prove that x, y, z is equal to 1. 1. A raised to the power of x is equal to b. Multiply both the sides power by y. When I multiply a raised to the power of x, y is equal to b raised to the power of y. Now b raised to the power of y is given as c. So I have substituted in place of b raised to the power of y as c. Now multiply both the sides power by z. So I have multiplied both the sides power by z. So I am getting 3 c raised to the power of z. Now c raised to the power of z is given as a. So I have taken substituted c raised to the power of z is equal to a. Now a simply I, I don't write a I write it as a raised to the power of 1. If there is no power it is understood as 1. So, when both the sides it is a, the powers can be equated. x, y, z is equal to 1. Hence, proved. We will move on to the next sum. The ninth one. Again, the same problem. This problem I had sent it to you all. But some of you have said that you didn't understand. a raised to the power of x is equal to b raised to the power of y is equal to c raised to the power of z. And they have given b square is equal to ac. This they have given. Now we need to prove that y is equal to 2xz by x plus z. This we need to prove. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take a raised to the power of x is equal to b raised to the power of y is equal to c raised to the power of z is equal to k. Okay. So these things you should understand. Now I they have equated these three things. I am taking one common letter k for this. Now I am going to take a raised to the power of x is equal to k. Now in your uh, uh, laws I had explained that nth root of a is equal to a raised to the power of 1 by n. Okay. 
So whenever there is nth root, you can write it as like this. Okay. Now you can convert it. Now here, uh, this set. Now when, uh, for example, I'll give you uh, a square. Okay, is equal to this is given. Now what we will do is see to shift this we usually find root a square a is equal to root of 4 okay now this root 4 can be written as 4 raised to the power of 1 by 2 okay see here how a square here became 4 raised to the power of 1 by 2 okay the same way here this power will become a fraction here a is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by x. Okay. See so here we find root 4. No, this root 4, I didn't find root 4. Instead, I've taken it as the power 1 by 2. Like how root nth root of a became k raised to the power of 1 by here I, I can take any other letter if you want. 4, then 4 is to the power 1 by n. Like this. Okay. So, what we do is we take it like this. A is equal to k raised. Just remember here when it is x, if you have to shift it that side, it becomes a fraction. Don't confuse too much there. Whenever there is a power x, to shift it that side, it becomes a fraction. Now, b raised to the power of x will be k raised to the power of 1 by x. c raised to the power of x, c raised to the power of, sorry, b raised to the power of y will be 1 by y. c raised to the power of z will be k raised to the power of 1 by z. Like this. Now, after doing this, what we are going to do is, we have to substitute in b square minus ac. is equal to ac. Now, what is b? B is nothing but it's like this. Now, what is B? B is K raised to the power of 1 by Y. K raised to the power of 1 by Y the whole square. Now this is equal to a is k raised to the power of 1 by x, c is k raised to the power of 1 by z. Now see here the bases are same. So here you have to use the product law, here you have to use the power law. Okay. So k raised to the power of 2 by y is equal to here k raised to the power of 1 by x plus 1 by y. Now this is product law, this is power law. I have used the power law and I have multiplied. Okay. So I hope you have understood so much. Now we will move on to the next step. Okay. Now since the bases are same, I can equate the power. So equate the power. by y is equal to 1 by x plus 1 by z. Okay. Now see here what I am going to do. Here 2 by y is equal to see x into z is xz. This is the LCM. Here in algebra we multiply the denominator. Same thing we do there but we find LCM and do it. Here because it is unknown we cannot find LCM. So we just multiply x into z is xz. Then cross multiply. z plus x. Okay. Now here what you will do. You will shift this here. Okay. And the y will go here. x plus z will come down. So 2xz by this xz I can write as z plus, uh, sorry, uh, z plus x I can write as x plus z is equal to y. 
a hen's poop. Only this concept you should understand a raised to the power of x is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by x. b raised to the power of x y is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by y. That you need to understand. Once you understand that, the remaining will be easy. Finding LCM and doing. Substitute in b square minus ac. Then do it. I hope you will understand it. Okay. Now we'll move on to the tenth sum. If five raised to the power of minus p is equal to four raised to the power of minus q is equal to twenty raised to the power of r, show that show that one by p plus one by q plus 1 by r is equal to 0. Yes, children, these are a uh, little difficult some but you should uh, try and understand. Okay. Uh, there are words, mathematics is going to be like this. It's going to be tougher, but you have to really work hard. Okay? Lot of in 9th standard, you have a lot of this kind of a, uh, equations one day. But once you get used to it, it, it will become easy for you. Now, see here, uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to take again k. Okay. So, here I am going to again take it as k. 5 raised to the power of minus p is equal to k. Same thing here, 5 raised to the power of minus p is equal to 4 raised to the power of minus q is equal to 20 raised to the power of r, I will take it as k. Now see here, 5 raised to the power of minus p is equal to k. Now what will happen, I told you, this will go and become a fraction here. So 5 raised to the, 5 is equal to k raised to the power of minus 1 by, see this minus will remain, okay. The power minus will remain. So that will become 1 by p. 1 divided by p. I hope you understand this. Now, 4 raised to the power of minus q is equal to k. Now, this will become 4 raised to the power of k to the power of minus 1 by p. Okay. Now, 20 raised to the power of r is equal to k. Now, that will be 20 is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. Main thing is this children. Please understand this concept. Okay. So, if you understand this concept, then everything will become easy for you. Okay. Now, 5 raised to the power of minus p is equal to k. So, 5 is equal to k raised to the power of, this minus p will become minus 1 by p. 4 raised to the power of minus p is equal to k. 4 is equal to q raised to the power of minus 1 by q. Now, 20 raised to the power of r is equal to k. 20 will be equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. See, here there is no negative sign. So, it will become 1 by r. Now, we will take this equation, the third equation. So, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. We will take the third equation. Okay. Twenty is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. Now, I can write 20 as 4 into 5. Or 5 into 4, whatever it is. 5, 4 is 20. This is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. See, I have split this as 5 into 4. Now, what is 5 from equation 1? What is 5? k raised to the power of minus 1 by p. So, k raised to the power of minus 1 by p. This is from equation 1. I like equation 1. Okay. 
and here from equation 2 we have k raised to the power of minus 1 by q. See here equation 2 does k raised to the power of minus 1 by q. So from equation 1 and 2 okay we have this. Now this is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. Now by product law what we need to do we need to add this to k to the power of minus 1 by p plus minus 1 by q. Okay, we have to add these two. Now, this is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. Now, see here, the bases are same on both the sides. So, we can equate the power. So, equate the power minus 1 by p plus of minus is minus 1 by q is equal to 1 by r. Okay. Now what I will do is I will shift to both these that side. So it will be 0 is equal to 1 by p plus minus will become plus minus will become plus 1 by q. This is already there. So 1 by r. Hence it will have 2. Hence 2. So here I have taken 20 as 5 fours are 5 I have substituted k raised to the power of minus 1 by p. Uh, 4 I have substituted as k raised to the power of minus 1 by q which is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. So here product law k we have added the power 1 by p plus of minus 1 by q is equal to k raised to the power of 1 by r. Now since the bases are same I have equated the power minus 1 by p plus of minus will be minus 1 by q is equal to 1 by r. Now I have taken 0 on my left hand side and taking shifting everything to my right hand. So minus 1 by p will become plus 1 by p, minus 1 by q will become plus 1 by q and 1 by r is already there so plus 1 by r. Hence we have root. M is not equal to M. Okay. And M plus M inverse is it into M in M. It's not inverse. It's to the power of minus 1 plus N to the power of minus 1 is equal to M X and N Y. We need to prove this. Okay. It, they have given it. Now we need to show that x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. See this method sum we have already done it in uh, exercise 7 uh, a. Okay this type of a sum we have already done it in exercise 7 a we are repeating it. Okay see here this m plus m raised to the power of minus 1 into m minus 1 plus m minus 1 is equal to m raised to the power of x m raised to the power of y. Now this I can write it as 1 by because it is minus 1 it will come down m plus n. Now here this alone will come down 1 by m plus since this is negative 1 by n. Now this is equal to n x n y. Keep on equating. Now we'll maintain this like that only m plus n. Here take an LCM. m into n is m n. Now cross multiply m plus this will work here, it will become m. Now see here m plus n and n plus m is same, so it gets cancelled. So I am left with 1 by m n is equal to m x n y now so it's a denominator i can take it up so that will become m raised to the power of minus 1 n raised to the power of minus 1 is equal to 
m raised to the power of x, n raised to the power of y. Should I explain this once again, children? See here, this m plus n will become will come down 1 by m plus n. Now this will become 1 by m plus this n minus 1 will become 1 by n. Now here you need to take an LCM mn. Okay. So cross multiply. This will go up here become n and this will go up here and become m. n plus m is equal to m plus n. So both gets cancelled. So I will be left with 1 by mn is equal to mx n m to the power of x and n to the power of y. Now this is in the denominator. When I take it up, it will become minus 1 n to the power of minus 1 is equal to m to the power of x n to the power of y. Now here what we will do is we will substitute. See here the bases are same. So x is minus 1. x is equal to minus 1. See here m and m the powers are same. x is minus 1. n, n the bases are same. So it by the power y is equal to minus 1. So this is the value of x and y. Now what we will do, we, will, we need to show that x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. So we will take x plus y plus 2, it should be equal to 0. We need to prove that. Okay. So what we will do, x value is minus 1, y value is minus 1, plus 2 is equal to 0. Now minus 1 minus 1 will become minus 2 plus 2 which is equal to 0. Minus 2 plus 2 will be 0 is equal to 0. So since both the side LHS is equal to RHS it is proved. So after finding the values of x and y take the equation that we need to prove x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Substitute the value of x and y x is minus 1, y is minus 1, plus into minus is minus, plus 2. So add these two, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2, plus 2, which is equal to 0. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0, already there is a 0 on the right hand side. Both the side it is 0, so LHS is equal to RHS, so root. LHS is left hand side, RHS is right hand side. to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 25 raised to the power of x minus 2. We need to find the value of x here and then substitute in 3x minus 3 into 3 minus x. Okay. Now, <coughs> we'll take this 5 raised to the power of x plus 1. Now 25 raised to the power of x minus 2. Now we need to bring this to this base. So 5 raised to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 25 can be written as 5 square. So this I am going to take it in the bracket. Already this x minus 2 is there. I am taking it in the bracket. Now bases are same. We can equate the power. So equate the power. So x minus 1 is equal to 2 into x minus 2. Now this can be written as x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 4. I'll take this up. x, I'm going to bring this 2x to this side. Minus 2x is equal to minus 4 plus 1. So here 2x minus x will become minus x is equal to minus 4 plus 1 will become minus 3. Now both the side it is minus so you can divide it by minus or cancel it. So x is equal to 3. Okay this is the value of x. Now what we will do we will substitute in this equation 
3 raised to the power of x minus 3 into 2 raised to the power of 3 minus x. We need to substitute in this. I'll explain it once again. 5 raised to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 25 raised to the power of x minus 2. 25 can be written as 5 square. Already this power is there. So 2 into x minus 2. Now since the bases are same, equate the power. x minus 1 is equal to 2 into x minus 2. x minus 1 is equal to 2 into x minus 2 to the 4. Okay. Now I have taken it up. x minus, I have brought this 2x this side. So x minus 2x is equal to minus 4 plus 1. Now 2x minus x is x. Greater number sign is minus. Now 4 minus 1 is 3. Greater number sign is minus. Since both the side it is minus, I can cancel it. I have cancelled the minus. So x value is 3. Now we have to substitute in this equation. 3 to the power of x minus 3 into 2 to the power of 3 minus x. Now, 3 to the power of x is nothing but 3. 3 minus 3 into 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 again. Here. Okay. Now, 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 is 0 into 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 is 0. Now anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 into 1 which is equal to 1. So the value of that equation is 1. See x value is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Here x value is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. Anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. 1 into 1 is equal to 3. Okay. One F four X plus three is equal to one one two plus eight into four raised to the power of X. Then we need to find out find eighteen X raised to the power of three X. So same method here we will find the value and then substitute in this equation to find what is the value of this term? Okay. <coughs> now this, you know, I told you a raised to the power of m plus n. We can take it as a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of m. So we will take 4 raised to the power of x into 4 cube is equal to 1, 1, 2 plus 8 into 4 raised to the power of x. I can take 4 raised to the power of x is equal to y. Okay. Let 4 raised to the power of x is equal to y. Or a, anything you wish. You can take any letter. Now, 4 raised to the power of x is equal to y. What is 4 cube? 4 cube is 64. 4 cube is 64. 4s are 16. 16 4s are 64. 64 y is equal to, see, I'll write it here. 4 cube is equal to 64 and uh, y raised to the power of, 4 raised to the power of x is equal to y. That's why I have substituted here. Okay. Is equal to 1, 1, 2 plus 8 into 4 raised to the power of x is 1. Okay. <coughs> now I will bring this to the side. 64y minus 8y is equal to 112. Now what is 64 minus 8? It will be 56. 56y is equal to 112. Y will be 112 by 56. 56 ones are 56 twos are so y is equal to 2. Okay, now see here we have to take now y is 4 raised to the power of x is equal to 2. Okay, now what we will do is we will try to bring 
both to the same power base. Now four can be written as two square. So two to the power of two x. Four can be written as two square. So square and raised to the power of x. So that becomes two to the power of two to the power of two x. Now this is equal to two raised to the power of one. Now since the bases are same, I can equate the power. Equate power. So 2x is equal to 1. Okay. So x is equal to 1 by 2. x is equal to 0 0.5. This is the value of x. Now we need to substitute in 18 x substitute in 18 x raised to the power of 3 x okay now we need to substitute and find the value of this so substitute x value okay now 18 into I will take it as 1 by 2. That's easy for us. 1 by 2. Raised to the power of 3, 1 by 2. Okay. 3 into 1 by 2 will become 3, 1 by 2. You want me to show that also? 3 into 1 by 2. Now see here. 2 1s are 2 9s are 18. So this will become 9. Okay. Now 9, uh, 3 by 2. Now this can be written as 9 cube, okay, root of 9 cube, because this is 1 by 2, that will become square root, 9 cube, what is 9 cube, 9 nines are 81, 81 into 9 will be 2, 4, 3, uh, 81 into 9 will be uh, 9, 7 to 9. Okay, so this will become 7 to 9. So this will become square root of 7 to 9. Okay, I will just check if the question is correct. Now, square root of 729. What will be the square root of 729? Square root of 729 is 27. 27. Which is equal to 27. So, the value of 18x raised to the power of 3x will become 27. Understood? We found the value of y, then we found the value of x. Okay, so 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 1, x is half. Then I substituted here, 18 into half is 9. Now 9 cube, square root of 9 cube. 9 cube is 729, square root of 729 is 27 into 27. So when we take it out, it will become 27. Here, 4 raised to the power of, see again here what will happen, 4 raised to the power of x into 4 raised to the power of minus 1 again. 
manuscript. Um, 0 0.5 can be written as 1 by 2. You should remember 0 0.5 is 1 by 2. How it becomes 1 by 2? 5 by 10. So, for 1s are 2s are. So, that's how it becomes 1 by 2. Okay, 3 raised to the power of minus 2 raised. Now, this becomes 1 by 8 can be written as 2 cube. So, raised to the power of minus x. Now, 4 raised to the power of x, I will convert this also, it will become 2 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. This will become 2 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of minus 1. Into here, 2 is in the denominator, so it goes up. 2 raised to the power of minus 1 into 3 minus 2x. Now this will be again 2 raised to the power of minus 3 into minus 6. I have taken everything to the numerator. Now here 2 raised to the power of 2 into 2. So it becomes 2 raised to the power of 4 into here 2 raised to the power of minus 2 into 2 raised to the power of minus 3 minus into minus plus 2x is equal to 2 raised to the power of minus into minus plus so 3x. Now here you can split it again 2 raised to the power of 4 or you can take some you can bring this this side and uh, take it as product law. We'll keep it like that on the we'll equate it. Okay. Now here 2 raised to the power of 4 minus 2 minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3x. Now since both the side it is 2, we can equate it. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 3 will become minus 1. So 2 raised to the power of minus 1 plus 2x is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3x. I'll explain it once again. 2 ra 4 raised to the power of x minus 1. I have split it into, or actually I could have kept it like that only. Okay, fine. 4 raised to the power of x into 4 raised to the power of minus 1 into here 0 0.5 I have taken it as 5 by 10. So, once twice 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 2x here 8 can be written as 2 cube, 1 by 2 cube raised to the power of minus x. Now here 4 can be written as 2 square into over, I have missed out this x, children, with this x here. So this will be 2x. Now here 2 um, again, uh, this 4 can be written as 2 square raised to the power of minus 1 into 2 raised to the power of this goes up and becomes minus 1 and this power remains. Here, uh, this goes up so it becomes minus 3 and the power is minus x. Now, 2 into 2x will be 2x into 2 into minus 1 will become minus 2 into here when I take it inside minus 3 minus into minus will become plus 2x. Now this is equal to 2 raised to the power of minus into minus is plus 3x. Now I can add the power here. Now here what is happening? 2x plus 2x is 4x. 4 raised to the power of 4x. Now here minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. Now this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3x. Now since the bases are same, you can add the equate the power. 4x minus 5 is equal to 3x. So bring this to the side. 4x minus 3x is equal to plus 5. x is equal to 5. So this is the value of x. Children, I wanted you all to try the remaining sum. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Okay. Otherwise, I will work it out and uh, uh, take a pick of it and send it to your 
to check your answers. But I wanted you all to try. Okay?